NCR, we are bearish. Results after close today. I was inaccurate on my first video. Um, I thought it would come out uh, yesterday as uh, we turned 1st of May. Um, but that's the change in dates on the US section. So it'll only come out at the end of trading day. I'm not expecting positive things in terms of how the market reacts to that. But this is a video about the technical side. Um, and this is volume and OBV. You'll note that this key level of significance we identified at 30, where there seems to be a lot of attempt to defend just in and around. Um, you had big volume when you gap down there in uh, defense. Note how much that added uh, to the um, it deducted my apologies even though it's a green candle was it closed higher on the day than it opened it was a huge sell-off when compared to the previous close and it was a big big volume this spanked the obv properly down that was essentially your low one obv and it had actually recovered a little bit um, because there were some green days with uh, some volume um, but f let's take the extreme low which is way up top there we ran that extreme low actually on this event here which was another huge day um, of selling and another disappointing earnings announcement. You go check the older video about the earnings and the gaps. But the point I'm making here is this high point over here, which included a lot of green candles that were not so super bullish, but they were just kind of recovery rebounds over here um, and a bit of defense thrown at the $30 mark. Make your own mind up about whether that's management trying to keep the options above water um, with cheap borrowed money. I don't know. That's conspiracy. But look at this. Um, since this high over here, um, when you go all the way up to here, in actual fact, the selling days are heavier volume generally across the board and we couldn't get away. So the OBV actually bled out to the downside during that climb. That is a legitimate divergence. Most people use divergence incorrectly when they're doing price-based indicators that are just mathematical formulas on what's up, what's above here. Um, this here is illustrating that, in fact, um, that is a flat-bottomed uh, descending triangle and you've then spilled out the bottom. Then we get to a low here. And even though we've rallied in a grind, um, it's not been that bullish and we're back down here we haven't broken and you've bled out on your OBV and this is falling through the floor so while the price level is being held at the order of $30 this inverted HVF structure with the low volume by price it's tapping on the floor looking for the trap door in our view so uh, that's our take um, we'll see what happens and by the way uh, this is not a recommendation nor a trade for the faint-hearted because if they come out and surprise to the upside and the market's pessimism is not uh, justified and I always think the insiders know um, and the collective wisdom of the crowd in terms of how they act and the big money which is the best informed if they are incorrect um, this can gap in the opposite direction um, that said there were downside gaps here here and on of the last four um, three of them had downside gaps and the fourth one traded down um, on the earnings so it's been a disappointing earnings season for the better part of the last year out of this company so um, they're probably suffering from some form of quarteritis could they shock and be up quite possibly and if we're inaccurate we'll be 180 degrees inaccurate this could blow your money management this makes us not a trade recommendation I'm not qualified to do that but we are suspecting um, from the nature of the price behavior and the volume structure that this will be bearish. So that's our take on NCR. I hope it's interest of you. By the way, if you want to learn more about how we do this, and this is just a small segment of many aspects of our analysis on volume and OBV and why it's meaningful and volume by price, um, you can learn a whole bunch more why I've put it there, how, why, and the pattern it ties into and how to make this relevant to specific patterns um, and start skilling up so that you too can make money in the markets, whether trading FX equities cryptos or any variety it's a totally agnostic skill to market um, go to themarketsniper.com and register for our webinar making money in a bear market you will see if uh, that skill comes to you then you'll be the full rounded trader potentially okay um, i'm gonna let it go here and hope you enjoyed and like and share if you uh, enjoyed it and that's appreciated on all levels and play nice in the comment section okay bye bye